Yeah. Trust me. You must gather your party. For venturing forth. We'll be fine. Just try not to breathe going through. I have no space. Siente. I'm always... Hey there. Hey, look, free camp. We should not have left Victor with those Solana. Then swim back to take a water. We will take your share. I'll handle it for you. We got trouble, folks. I have no space. See you there.
Gut. Aha. We must do what we can do. thing. Hey there. Hey there.
Sure thing. Something I can do? There are many things that move through... I'm all right. Tad windblown, but no worse for the wear. Let's take a look. Came after me. I have no space. Come on. Come on. You were saying, give me the order. What? That right there is why you always check for traps. See the point. <laughs> Ishi gets it. Anybody got a chisel and some wheelbarrows? like this. Why is your blade drawn? You're crazy. Stay back. Okay. I thought we were 
to a blad. <laughs> I see where you're going. <laughs> I'm with you. Not a problem, Captain. Whoa, whoa, look. Not well, your back, no. Watcher. They're coming up the walls. me of the wrong new shooting gallery. Oh, no. 
quiet as a cat. No space. Siente. Hey there. That <laughs> Did you feel? Dim in the lantern. Can't hide from me. I have no space. Yeah, Same right day. away. Careful, Watcher. That thing's got a nasty hex on it. Confusion feels like. Think I found the problem.
I got an itch. Can someone scratch my elbow? I left it with my body. You were saying? You were saying? Quiet is a cat. This is how the gods run the beyond. I'm sure Valian Anamancy would be an improvement. You do not belong here. Your body is hollow. Stay if you would join the dead. Maybe you're dead. I do not see Tangaloa's mouth or Sirono's doors anywhere. My storm wreathes Pococahara. Ngati's fist drags Valian's ships to the deep. If you come to stop this, you have already failed. Ikira, and your ancient soul will help the gust flourish into a gale. Ngati holds our souls in this swamp, cut off from the sea. The flow of essence stops here. And rots, apparently. What do you mean, rots? Souls are going bad cut off from the cycle? My lantern looks fine and healthy, though. I don't claim to understand it, girl. I'm a miner, not a mystic. The cistern overflows into the world of the living, stirring the sea and skies with the fury of the goddess. Bringing storms. The gods laugh at machines, I say. Nothing built of kith hands can rest away their will. No souls travel through here. The Adra screams. Ngati grins, showing her fangs. This is where Valian's scheming ends. Ngati's servant holds the dam closed to flood the living world with her vengeance. One village? No. I do this for the archipelago. I am the storm of my people. Adra is the staff I wave to churn Ngati's kingdom. Madiko, to arrive at the far side of death and find this babbling brook. The Valians will not overrun us while I have the strength to repel them. If you think bad weather will hold back my countrymen, you have greatly underestimated us. They will depart when the waters rise to drown their investments. This I know. Fool! Ngati will stop churning the seas when the outsiders leave. Then I will be reborn as a Ranga. Pirates and slavers drove my tribe from our old roots and havens. Now, the Valians do the same with paper. They come to pull Adra from the earth and mill it like grain. You speak as though this Adra has been the heart and soul of your tribe for generations. Though you have only recently come here. Adra is the heart and health of the dead fire. You whose breast is cold and still would know nothing of this. There is nothing more to say. Here at the end, outsider lies are a dull edge. Then I will scatter you to the ether and fatten the storm on your past lives. Akosi, let's not be hasty. Some of us still have bodies out there. You don't plan on staying here, Ak? Huh? Why not let us tag along and see if we can reunite with our... what we left behind? You're... not lying, are you? You've all served your captain with distinction. But... I think this is where we part ways. This me
watch it with them. That's not for us. My fishermen saw your boat sailing from Pokokohara. The storms, they parted like a school of fish before Nagati herself. Now, the Valian Trading Company will send ships, people, and supplies. Tikawawa will be the greatest port east of Nekataka. First, they must clear room for docks and storehouses. But that will be many months from now, no? Already they make plans. I say this is a turn in our fortunes. The first of many. You are always welcome among us. Accept this and know our thanks. The gods give answers. It is only my duty to listen. We were... Foreigners know her as Andra. To us, there is no difference. I warned them not to go. I warned Ruanu not to help them. Niska Merla! Their deaths are on you! Foreign ships raided our old villages and carried away our people. Ruanu promised us we would be safe here. Give it to me, please. Then I will see that it brings no harm to anyone else. Well, these people have no respect for the ancient law of finders keepers. I do not want to shed blood, but I will do what I must to protect my people. The idol, then. Then I do as I must. I have no space. Oh, oh. The I got you a little bit. Whirlwind! Oh, Welcome back. Governor Alvari will see. Ah, good, you're back. I hope you had a pleasant voyage. Ah, before you get too far on the way, I think you ought to come with me. Director Castor will want to hear from you in person. Alvari tells me you are kind enough to look into this business on Pokokahara for us. I hope you bring good news. A terrible price, to be certain. But at least we have not lost everything. An Adra vein of that size will go some way towards setting us back on our feet. And the crew, Beza and the others. A sorry end for such dedicated individuals. How very fortunate that you lived to tell their tale. I believe I can take things from here, Alvari. Agrasima. The Watcher and I have more business to discuss. Oh, and uh, do pay the woman for her trouble first.
I apologize. Right to business with no real introduction, no? I am Ignato Castel, director of the Balian Trading Company's opera. I thought it best I speak with you face to face. Watchers are not so numerous here in the Deadfire, especially those of such storied backgrounds as yourself. I'd read much about your exploits alongside the Crucible Knights in Defiance Bay, <laughs> their little experiments. And I think that we are, each of us, in a position to offer each other something that we cannot find elsewhere. The Valian Trading Company has had a presence on this island for nearly a century now. We have the greatest fleet on the seas, the support of the richest men and women in the world. What can the Royal Deadfire Company offer? A soldier's wages, so that you can elevate the fortunes of a distant king? And the queen? A place in the Kahanga tribe among all the rest of these neglected people. You've lived outside the caste system all these years. Are you eager to return to it? I can give you money, fame, certainly. But the men and women of the company, we set our aims high. And if I only wanted to offer you work as an Adra inspector, I would have let Alvari deal with you. Yes, yes, of course. That is my thinking exactly. The Valian Trading Company has maintained an outpost here in Nekataka for nearly a century now. It was only two years ago that we discovered the effects of Luminous Adra with the aid of our Animancers and several watches. Flaune Alet has continued to study the potential of Luminous Adra in all manner of advances. Why content ourselves to sell all this Adra as a luxury? when we might use it to change the world. But of course you understand all of this. Alette sent word of your involvement in her latest experiment. A very dramatic first attempt, I hear. Though uh, Alette has a tendency to gloss over details. But uh, I want to hear it from you. How did it go? Oh, it wouldn't work for me, I think, but... Uh, I take your meaning. More dangerous than expected, yes? I hope Alette paid you well for your trouble. A small comfort, but you'll return from your adventure a little wealthier, at least. We are in the early days of Alette's research. Flawed as this outing was, there is promise there. This is only the start, you know. The very dawn of a new age of discovery. But just imagine. Imagine if we could transport goods and people more quickly than any vessel or horse. Cure every kind of ailment. Perhaps cure disease altogether. We'll extend our lifespans by decades, maybe even centuries one day. This has all been the work of a single outpost. I want there to be a dozen outposts, a hundred. Animancers working together to better our lives. Look at what we have left behind. Old Velia is a battlefield at constant war with itself. But the Republics have risen from that past. We can rise farther still, and in doing so, we will raise all of Aora with us. Belfeto! Yes, but achievable, I think. I may not live to see it, but I will see the groundwork done. But uh, I've said enough. Too much, I think. There will be more experiments to come. Until then, I have a more grounded task I need assistance with. Nothing that should put your spirit in any danger. Nekataka sees its share of smuggling. I doubt that would surprise anyone. But we've learned of our particular exchange that will have more dire effects than a few spoiled Hawana peasants. There is a Royal Deadfire Company official by the name of Quarno, who has been meeting in secret with one of the Principi. I do not believe he works with the approval of his masters. He meets with a Captain Tola, a known pirate and smuggler. I have a woman, Britza, waiting in the luminous bathhouse in Periki's Overlook. The smugglers do business there, and she has kept an eye on things. Of course, best to go in prepared. The discipline of the royal officers isn't really what any of this is about. I'm more concerned about the pirates. A fine, valiant woman. Steady temperament. Good sense. The bathhouse sees an enormous number of patrons every day. It is a useful place to have a set of eyes and ears on hand. 
only that Tola is a captain of middling repute and some small ambition. Excellent. Meeting you has been a stroke of luck, Watcher. I'll await your report. Clear skies. That explains the rumors the Valians are scaling up in Queen's birth. I'd hoped you would stop them. They'll press gang the locals and tear Pococahara apart. Once they're done, they'll leave behind a wrecked island and a tribe dependent on their resources. Nevertheless, I'm more interested in reports the storms around the islands have cleared. What do you know of this? Even if this isn't the outcome we'd wanted for Poco Kahara, your observation is infinitely more valuable. Take this and remember it the next time we call on you. We'd long suspected something unnatural was behind the storms, but we had little evidence. Yes, if the storms that assail Rawatai have a similarly unnatural origin, then perhaps they too can be stopped. And if that's the case, then there's more work to be done, Work that you might be able to help with. After all, somebody has to keep the peace in these tumultuous times, no? In any case, Hazanui Karu has a matter that could use your help. Her office is on the main floor behind the large double doors. It's most conspicuous. 